Welcome to Weekly Cheats, where after a week of eating clean, it's time for something sweet. Today, we're gonna to be making banana with candied pecan ice cream. For this recipe, there's only really one thing that we're gonna mix in besides banana, but we're gonna beat that into the base. So it's, I like to just get a two cup measuring cup like this and just fill it all the way to the top. So it's probably two and a half cups, if you don't have one of these, um, of pecans. And basically, we're not gonna dice them up the way we did in the pralines and cream video. We're basically just gonna try and cut them so that they're small, like roughly in half. Okay, so I've got a tablespoon of butter melted here. We're gonna do half of a cup of dark brown sugar, and then a full teaspoon of cinnamon in here, because we wanna be able to taste that cinnamon. One thing we'll need to do to help get this going as it melts down is just add a teaspoon or two of water on there. All right, second teaspoon's got us where we wanna be. As you can see that dark brown sugar and that cinnamon in there. We wanna get this basically to the point of boiling and then we're gonna throw our pecans in there. All right, so this is boiling pretty good, so we're gonna move this off the heat. Turn that down. And then we'll throw our chopped nuts in. Stir these in. We don't need to really keep these on the heat very long at all. Okay, so as you'll notice, some of these don't really have any stuff stuck to them, and that's fine. Again, we just want the pecans to pick up the flavor from it. We're gonna dump all of this into the base when we go to mix it, so it will still pick up the flavoring in the base itself from the sugar. That'll, that'll get rinsed off of these, essentially, and that'll go into the base and kind of meld with the banana, which will be delicious. With the bananas here, typically what you want is somewhere between these two. <laughs> You're gonna want roughly 20 ounces of raw banana. So we'll just cut them up and put them in, weigh them out. All right, so we've got 20 ounces of banana here. I'm just gonna throw this in our food processor. And then we're gonna throw one cup of half and half in there to help them blend up a little easier. Ooh, I filled it right up. Just make this into as much of a liquid as possible so it mixes into the base really easy. Okay, so this recipe base, pretty simple. We're gonna go with our standard two cups of sugar. It's gonna be six whole eggs. It's gonna be a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of our vanilla. So we're gonna beat this real quick. While this is beating, the eggs, sugar, and salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add my two tablespoons of vanilla. So you can see it's foamy on top. Uh, it's not grainy anymore. So now that we've got the base beat, we can go ahead and add our banana in. All right, so we've got our base mix. We've got the banana part beat in. We've got our pecans, pecans, however you wanna say it, are all nice and cooled down. So it's time to get everything in the canister. Bam. The bananas have a fairly high water content and the half and half that I put in there also does when I put that in the food processor. We're just gonna go straight cream the rest of the way to fill this up um, so that we have a non-icy, thick, creamy base. So in this case, we are gonna go to the top of the third one, third ring from the top. So one, two, we're gonna go to the top of this guy. Um, with our cream. Guess I'll come to this side. <laughs> to this ring and then we'll do a layer of salt around. Then we'll fill it up to this next ring. We'll do another layer of salt. We'll fill it all the way to the top, cover it all the way up, and one more layer of salt over the top. So good. <laughs> I regret nothing. All right, so we are done. The best thing about this recipe is once it's done in the canister, you don't have to add anything, you just serve it up. So I've already got it in containers in the freezer, I've got it in this nice little double wall bowl that I chilled ahead of time. 
and uh, it's time to devour. Thanks for watching though. If you like this recipe, make sure that you give a thumbs up, leave a comment on what your favorite ice cream recipe is, and uh, feel free to share this with anybody else and don't forget to subscribe. Real. <laughs>